ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೇ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಯ ಕಿಂಧುವೇಶ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ಬಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ ಚಕ್ತಿ ಪದಿ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋಜಯೋಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರೋಣ್ಯ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯಂ ವೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ವನತಪಾಲ್ಭವಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗ್ರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿಕಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕರು ಕಮಲಾಯಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಯುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಹಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಥಾಪಿ ತೆ ಪದಾಂಬುಜದ್ವಯ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಲೇಸ ಅನುಗೃಹೀತ ಹಿ ಜನಾತಿ ತತ್ಯಂ ಭಗವನ್ ಮಹಿನ್ನೋ ನೋಚ ಅನ್ಯಂ ಏಕೋಪಿ ಚಿರಂ ಬಿಚಿನ್ಮನ್ 
अथापिते देव पदम बुजोध्यम प्रसाद लेश अनुगृहित एव ही जानाति तत्यम भगवान महिन्नो नौच एक पिछिरन विचिन्न गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमहंस जगदगुरु टोल्ड सो लॉन्ग यू आर नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट सरेंडर्ड अंतुल लोटस फीट ऑफ दैट एब्सिल्यूट ट्रूथ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड टिल देन यू हैव नो राइट टू स्पीक अबाउट दैट एब्सिल्यूट ट्रूथ गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत बहुपात परमंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड आंटी लन आनलेस यू आर हंड्रेड परसेंट सरेंडर्ड अंतुर रूट स्पीच ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड टिल देन यू हैव नो राइट टू स्पीक अबाउट द एब्सुलट ट्रूथ एंड यू कैन नॉट स्पीक एब्सुलट नो राइट इज सेपरेट बट यू हैव यू कैन नॉट स्पीक बिकॉज इफ यू लाइक टू स्पीक अबाउट द एब्सुलट ट्रूथ यू कैन फील सम सॉर्ट ऑफ फियर इन साइड यू बिकॉज यू कैन कैलकुलेट द होल वर्ल्ड कैन गो अगेंस्ट मी If I speak this way, naked truth, so whole world can go against me. So I should not speak this way. I should speak very sweet way, very soft way, catchy way. But Pope was speaking that kai mano bhakti kare udbeg na dibe. This is a standard quotation. This is one standard quotation in Chaitanya Charitamrita. You can find it is written, "Kai mane bhakti kare udbeg na dibe." That means by body, speech, and mind, you should not give pain to anybody. By body, speech, or mind, you should not give pain to anybody. This is the Vaishnav rules. So all so-called all so-called sannyasis or the preachers, they are going to take undue advantage of this loka because they can go, they can say it is there in Chaitanya Charitamrita, the main vital books of Vaishnavas. So we must follow it. We are not going to pain to anybody, no, physically or mentally or mental pain or physical pain or pain by speech. We cannot give. So better we can speak very softly, very lucid way, catchy way, so that they can feel comfortable. In Niti Shastra, it is written, Satyam Briyat. It is written, Satyam Briyat. Ritam Briyat. Briyat means speaking. Satyam Briyat. Ritam, bri ritam Briyat. Kadapi Apriya Satyam Na Briyat. What is written in Niti Shastra? Satyam Briyat. You must speak Satya. Speak. Not absolute. You can speak about the truth. Shattam Bruya. Priyam Bruyat. I mean, Shattam Bruyat, Ritam, Ritam means Shattam. So, Shattam Bruyat, Priyam Bruyat, Na Kadapi, Apriya Shattam Bruyat. You can speak in such a way so that everybody can like you. You can speak at the same time Truth, satam briyat, ritam briyat, but your representation should be very sweet, so that people can never feel any problem. That's why it is written, no kadapi apriya satyam briyat. What is what is hundred percent perfect, but still. Apriya Satyam, but it is not, uh, people cannot like it. That is right, okay. But still people cannot uh, take it easily. 
So this kind of thing you should not speak. No kadapi apriya satyam, which cannot be liked by common people. You cannot speak. This is, in general, we find in Nisi Shastra. But Popa speaking, though it is written that by body, speech and mind, we should not give any pain to anybody. But I was bound to give pain to you all. Before leaving this material world, Popa told, I was bound to give pain to you all. I wanted to engage you all in perfect Hari Bhajan without any duplicity. I wanted to engage you all in Hari Bhajan, leaving all different kind of duplicity. That's why I was bound to become harsh. I was bound to put pressure on you. I wanted to give you anxiety. But not for myself. All for you. That you can realize someday. You can realize someday why I was bound to speak that way. To deliver you, to save you from the imminent danger. That is why I was bound to speak. Popa speaking, you should not take undue advantage. Srila Popa speaking, you should not take any undue advantage of that sloka available in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Maybe it is written. Maybe it is written there, by body, speech and mind you cannot give pain. But that, is, that doesn't mean I cannot speak about the absolute truth. So, Popa speaking, we should not take undue advantage of that sloka written in Chaitanya Charitamrita to, to stop speaking about the absolute truth. We cannot take undue advantage of that sloka in Chaitanya Charitamrita to stop speaking about the absolute truth. Rather, we can speak absolute truth, absolute way, standing on absolute platform. We cannot make any compromise. This is called Jivedaya. You can think that Prabhupada is merciless. Parambiya Keshav Goswami is merciless. You can think that is your privilege. But actually, they are more and more merciful. They are so merciful, they, they don't like to, they never like to allow you to go to hell. They are so merciful, they like to protect you. Always they like to protect you all the time. Like one mother going to take care of a small baby. Because the baby is helpless, this way. But we misunderstand. We always misunderstand Guru Vaishnava, that's why we cannot make any progress in our bhajan. We cannot make progress in our bhajan. That is the main problem. Morning time I was speaking that first of all you should realize that you are helpless. First of all you should realize that you are helpless. Like Parikhid Maharaj, Parikhima is coming, he is going to think, I have no support. Only Bhagavan is there, okay? So he wanted to take decision to, to sit at the bank of Ganga up to the last moment of his life. First of all, you should realize that you are helpless. If you feel from heart that you are, you are helpless, then surely you can try to get some support. Like Gajendra, I told, he cannot find any support. He wanted to believe. Draupadi wanted to, Draupadi wanted to rely on Pitama Vishya. Depodi wanted to rely on Dronacharya. Because in the open assembly, Dushasan, the idiot number one, wanted to open whole cloth of Draupadi. She is helpless. Bhima there, Yudhishthir Maharaj there, Arjun there, everybody in the assembly. But in the open assembly, that idiot wants to make her naked. Follow. So Draupadi wanted to, uh, wanted to depend upon Pitama Vishwa, at least. At least he can 
put some objection, or maybe uh, Dronacharya also can put some objection, or there is Yudhishthir Maharaj, surely he cannot tolerate this kind of, you know, this kind of dirty thing. Or Bhimsen, surely not. He can try to find some solution. This way, Draupadi wanted to get some solution. But finally, when Draupadi discovered that nobody is going to help me, nobody can help me, then he wanted to leave his personal effort to catch the cloth, to protect the cloth. He wanted to say with own two hands up, Oh, Govinda, you protect me. When he, she could discover that anyway nobody is going to help me, then there is no way. Finally, she wanted to depend upon Krishna, the only support of infinity world. Immediately, within fraction of second, Krishna appeared in the form of cloth. In the form of cloth. Dusasan going to pull cloth, it likes Himalayan hill. Like opening cloth, it becomes heaps of cloth, but still endless cloth. Krishna coming in the form of cloth, so he is fed up. He could not make Draupadi naked. Similarly, when you are going to depend upon your bank money, when you are going to depend upon your manpower, when you are going to depend upon your efficiency, when you are going to depend upon your education, till then Bhagavan cannot get, give any response. But it's up to you. You don't like to depend upon me, so what I can do? You do yourself, okay, you solve your problem. What it concerns to me? Because you like to solve your own problem. You are not going to depend upon me. If you depend upon me, then you can become, you can enjoy liberty in true sense. When you can depend upon me, Krishna speaking, Krishna speaks, see Krishna speaking to Jivatma, when you can depend upon me, when you are surrendered to me, when you are protected by me, then you are, you are going to enjoy liberty in true sense. But at present, your liberty is not actually liberty. Actually, at present, your liberty is not liberty. It is not genuine liberty. You are under the control of Maya. You are in jail, actually. You are in jail. I told that. Anyway, morning time of speaking, the moment, you can try yourself. The moment you are going to leave all support, the moment you are going to leave all your desire from heart, all your enjoyment for anything, all clean, totally, no smell, then Prahlad Maharaj speaking to Nishinga Dev, Jarhi eva manavaha tejanti kamano manasasthitano. Jarhi, the moment one chivatma, one man, going to leave all desire, everything, totally clear. In that case, he become very powerful. Powerful means he can get the platform of Bhagavan. Platform means Bhagavan is Chinma. He can also go to Chinma. Platform. Not that he can become Bhagavan. I am not speaking that. Jarhi eva manavaha tejanti kamana manasya sitano tarhi eva bhagavat tayo kalpate. I mean, at that moment, Bhagavan is going to accept you. Bhagavat tayo kalpate. Bhagavan is going to accept you, not before that. So long you can depend upon your all efficiency, money, power, this, that. Okay. That is the main problem. For why we cannot make any progress? The sloka is started with very important sloka. Brahma speaking, Athapite padam mujaddaya prasad lesa anigrit evahi Janati Tattam Bhagavan Mahinu. Somebody can know, somebody can get information about Bhagavan. Tattavigyan. 
you can understand, you can realize the Tattva Vigyan relating to Bhagavan and Bhakta, Dham, everything. Athapite deva, athapite padambuja daya prasadu lesa anagrihit evahi janati dhatta. Without your kipa, without your desire, without your approval, nobody can know anything about your secret Tattva Vigyan. First of all, you can, you can approve, approval should be there. Then, some tattabhi, the guru, some, somehow you can, you can grow tattabhi again, but not. By personal effort, never, by any amount, by any amount, you, by any amount of your personal effort, we can, you can never come out successfully. Never. You can try, whole life, life after life. Athapite padambuyadayo prasad, prasad mani kipa, prasad lesh anugri devi, janati tattam bhagavan mahimno, all the glories of Bhagavan, who is Bhagavan, how Bhagavan leading life, what is the mood of Bhagavan, where Bhagavan is staying, what is dham, and all leela, everything you can know. Janati tattam bhagavan mahimno, nacha eko pichiran vichinma. For infinity period, he can go on trying personal, personally, never he can. That is the main thing. So, Dhamma also this kind of Bhagavad Tattva. Dhamma also Bhagavad Tattva. So this way we can never. By the mercy of Bhagavan, it is Chaitanya Jitama, it is written, Adhapiyo Sehi Lila Kare Gaur Rai, Kono kono bhagavane dekhi vare pai in Bengali. Still today, now in this moment, they are also Gaur doing same lila. Gaurang Mahapur doing same lila, even in Navadiv Dham, here. But you cannot see. It is beyond our capacity to see. Bhakti Mataur can see. Bhakti Mataur used to, you know, there, Bhajan Kutir, and Absorbing mood. And you can see everything. And last moment before leaving body, almost whole day, Bhakti Mata close eyes. Almost whole day, not opening eyes. Almost whole day, Bhakti Mata used to whole night. Sometimes Sheva going to give some milk this much, drinking, uh, a whole day. Anybody coming to meet with Bhakti Mata Everybody not allowed, some important person, if Bhimala Prasad Saraswati Pope are sending, then Sebak, I mean Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj can allow. But that even very difficult. First of all, he can approach room and very carefully, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Then Bhakti Muttakur cannot give response. He is absorbing. After a long time, he can give response. He can open the eyes. Even in last moment, Eyes is always closed. Even he cannot close eyes. If Bhakti is going to see somebody, he will have to put this way. This way. Hold him, close eyes. Cannot open. This way they can see. So this Dhamma, same Dhamma, same Vrindavan Dhamma, same Navadip Dhamma, same. But we are blind. We cannot see. That is the main problem. I was speaking in the morning time about another sloka from Gita. Sreyano Dubhamaya Jagyad Gyana Yugam Gyana Yugya Parantapaha Sarvana Karmana Khilam Partho Gyane Parishamapati. Bhakti Thakur wanted to give our guidance. This stroke is very important. Bhakti Thakur speaking that we can do so many things. But Bhagavan Sri was speaking to Arjun, it is far better, it is far better to do Gyan Yajna. But material people, they cannot do. They are in bonded condition. Maybe they are 90% free, but still 10% bondage is there. Still they are not possible. 
Anyway, we have to collect flower, we have to do this, that, so many. All, whatever I am going to do, maybe worship or jagya or whatever, seva, I like to, all oriented with matter. Matter, no? Without matter, nothing. Without matter, nothing, no? I have to do matter. Without matter, nobody can. All matter oriented. Though we know, that Jivatma, Atma has nothing, no link with any matter. But still it's a must. When you are going to buy some rice, sabji, everything from market, you are cooking, you are going to offer to Bhagavan. You are going to offer to Bhagavan. It is also material yoga. It is also. But, if one fine Vaishnav, like Bhakti Puma Puri Goswami, this kind of exalted Vishnu, going to collect something very pure and going to offer to Bhagavan, his mood going to be translated into that. I mean, he has Bhakti, that Bhakti going to be transported into the object he is going to offer. Then this becomes totally pure and spiritualized, fine. Chinmay. When he is going to offer, and Bhagavan surely cannot take rice, dal, sabji matter. Because Bhagavan is Chinma himself. Bhagavan himself Chinma. How Bhagavan take material thing? Whereas we see Madhavendra Puripad when going to offer sabji, chapati, rice, paraman, everything. But it is written in Chaitanya Chaitamita when Madhavendra Puripad out of his out of his extreme love. When Madhavendra Puripad, out of his extreme love, his heart is going to break. He is going to offer to Gopal, you, you take, uh, you take, I arrange something, you take. Then it is written, Madhavendra Puripad watching, Gopal is going to take all rice sabji. It is written. It is written. You can go to Chaitanya Chaitanya with Gopal, taking all rice sabji, everything. But how? Though Gopal taking, but Gopal is Purna Vastu, so whatever Prasad Gopal, I mean in Boga, Gopal taking, but still it is in, intact. You cannot find any deficiency. Sometimes Bhagavan joking with, I told you, like, uh, you know, here in Katwa, uh, I told you one. So, Though Bhagavan is going to take, but still it is intact. Madhavanda Puripad wanted to offer all those objects, I mean things, out of his devotional mood, complete devotional mood, out of love. Whereas before appearing, Sinaji already wanted to say in dream, that I am waiting for you for a long time. Five thousand years, na? That was established by Bhajuranabha. Gopal speaking to Madhavandu Puripa in dream. For a long time I am waiting when Madhavandu Puripa can, Madhavandu can come and I can take seva from Madhavandu. So you know, Gopal could take, Gopal could take, take seva from anybody. Waiting for Madhavandu Puri to come. Maybe 5,000 years after, but still he is going to take Bhoga or Seva from Madhavendra Puripa. That is the moon. Srila Sachidanda Bhakti Thakur told, I also wanted to explain morning time. Any kind of Jagya you want to do. Jagya is an open term. Jagya is open term. Because in, the, in, in, the, in this whole world, in true sense, in the whole world, whatever who doing in different corner of the world, in, in general term, we can say it's Jagya, Karma Jagya. Is one kind of anywhere, in America, Russia, France, Italy, anywhere, whatever, is, it, it's called in greater, in, in greater sense, open term, is whole Jagya going on. Big Karma Jagya. But they don't know 
Why, who is Bhagavan? That's why you are not going to do in the name of Bhagavan. That is the main thing. But anyway, knowing the language they are doing, Karma Yoga, Vishwa Yoga. Or I can show more precisely, it's called Vishwa Yoga. Karma Yoga, I should not say anyway, Karma Yoga means some other meaning can come. Vishwa Yoga. All over the world, some Jagya going on. He is doing this, he is doing that, he is doing all Jagya going on. You get an infinity world. And you are teeny soul. You are teeny soul. You are not body. So, Bhakti Mataka speaking, I, Bhakti Mataka writing in commentary that Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Arjun, it is far better if you can do some fine jagya. Fine jagya, you know, fine jagya. Fine jagya means not with matter not oriented. Matter not oriented. Like, like our Raghunath Das Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami someday going to offer Paramanna to Bhagavan night time mentally. Raghunath Das Goswami is going to cook Paramanna mentally and going to offer to Bhagavan. And Raghunath Das Goswami is going to take that prasadam also mentally, I mean in fine form. Morning time he is going to develop indigestion. Then all, you know, Brajavasis, they are very anxious. They call one Ayurvedic doctor. They call one Ayurvedic doctor, big doctor. The Baba is sick, you come and check up. Then the doctor, Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic doctor is going to come and check up the pulse. Check up the pulse. Oh my God, night time, so late at night, he has taken so much rich parmanna. <laughs> Brajavasis, they are laughing. What do you say, fool? Baba not taking anything. Within two days, three days after, yogurt, yogurt, little bit, yogurt in a pot. No, it cannot be so. My detection, my, my detection can never be false. You ask Baba. Then Raghunath Dalgu says, well, night time I cooked <laughs> Paramanna, so I took. So in fine book. You can find in Brihad Bhagavata Mrito, one Brahman going to offer Paramanna to Bhagavan mentally, going to cook at the bank of Godavari, uh, at the bank of Godavari, going to pay Paramanna and mentally going to offer to Narayan. Finally, he wanted to check up that Paramanna cooled down or not. He wanted to put his hand. Paramanna cooled down or not? I can offer now or not, after some time. He wanted to put. And his hand? Burn. It is written. Everybody knows. The heart and burn up. So you cannot believe. You cannot believe, I know, but it is fact. Here in Jogopit Mandir, in Jogopit Mandir, almost winter season, almost winter season. There, because at present you can get mango anytime in the season. Because they are machinery, they are going to preserve. But on those days, uh, seasonal fruits, you will have to collect on them. It's not possible. Almost winter time. Suddenly, Prabhupada wanted to get some mango, wanted to offer some mango to Gaurhari. Immediately, some small boy coming, giving some mango to Prabhupada in Jogopitsi Mandir. Mango. So many things. Not one example. There was flood. Total Mayapur Dam was inundated by flood. Total, that long ago, at the time of Prabhupada. But it was, it was Janmashtami Tithi or Gorpunim? Maybe I forget, maybe Gorpunim. Prabhupada wanted to, oh, Gorpunim, like me, wanted to offer some Paraman or this, that, but from this is all flooded. Whole area inundated. Nobody can go, no. In our lifetime also, when I was there in Chaitanya Mahal, 20, 22 years back, 25 years, I used to speak Harikatha in Chaitanya Mahal at the Asana Prabhupada. That time, Guru Mahaj Abhir Bhaktiti, no, it was Janmashtami. Janmashtami. Not Gauravirvab, Janmas. So, there was actually 
total flooded. We take one boat from Chaitanya Mart, from the first uh, floor, and we sit in a boat, and the boat coming to our mud, they also we drop there in the first floor, because ground floors are flood and flood water. We offer Puspanjali, do Harikatha, from there I again go back. Flooded total. So Popa thinking how to offer Paramanna this, that to, to Bhagavan. That was an important day. In the meantime, one coward man going to carry all water, you know, milk and molasses, you know, special molasses. Eh? from plum tree, one kind of juice coming. From there you can make some special molasses, very costly, very tasty and very costly. Another molasses available, uh, if you uh, date, you know, date, kejur. You have to date, 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 you know, date, kejur, kejur. From there also you can get juice and make, you know. This is also possible. This way, very important city. Somebody coming, I'm going to offer milk, rice, or whatever need. I'm going to card everything. Popa started shedding tears. What not possible for Bhagavan? Everything possible. So, in Gita, Bhagavan speaking to Arjun. Arjun, it is far better if somebody going to do fine jagya. Sriyanu Dubhamaya Jagyad Gyanu Jagyam Parantapa. Because whatever you are doing in your life, if ultimately not going to grow your consciousness to develop some jnana, then all your uh, activities are failure. Like I morning time I told that you should not take big initiative. Even in Rasamrita Sindhu, I am discussing in Bengali. Very important discussion, very high. Rasam Dusindu. There, Rupa Goswami Path wanted to point out, special point, that one should not, one should not try, one should not try to make a big, huge arrangement. Because this kind of arrangement can put him in trouble because he's not so elevated. Not so elevated now. All you can make big temple, big a guest house, big this. So, so big men, you will have to play your head to maintain that. Big men, you will you will have to appoint some people, and where from you can get devotee. Any society, any society you show me, they are going to appoint all devotee in different department, material man. Where from they can get? One dedicated soul. One dedicated soul you cannot find in the whole world. Big, can find. Cannot find, no? very rare. Whereas you are going to make big arrangement. So, big arrangement means you will have to play your head, you will have to arrange, you will have to uh, you know, set up the system, how to do. And also you are going to engage material man, because where from you can get space. Wherefore, you can get one. You can get one devotee at present, who is totally dedicated for Bhagwan. I mean, dedicated unto a lotus feet of Bhakti Siddhanta Sir. They can fly. Oh, it's too tough. Fly. We can die. Who is going to crazy? So it is spoken by Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Matmondi Dalanbari Nakraya Prayas. Don't try to make a big arrangement. It can become an impediment for you in your bhajan. Because you are bonded. If I am going to do Bandara, Bandara, you know, Bandara, big festival, then surely I will have to play my head for where from I can arrange. I have to engage some man. I personally cannot go to market. These are so many, so many people to complete one function, which is only possible for an exalted devotee, eternal person of Bhagavan, like Prabhupada. 
like Madhu Goswami Maharaj. They can. Keshav Goswami Maharaj in his life wanted to arrange, you know, his uh, Gaur Dham Parikrama. I mean, 5,000 people. 5,000. And in Chaitanya Mahat, even sometime at the time of Prabhupada, many people. If you count, you can find more than 5,000, you know, 6,000, so many. So you will have to play your head. Somebody can do some mischievous, mischievous activities. Somebody can do some wrong. Who can say? So you will have to play your head. That's why for bonded soul, it is prohibited. So in Rasamrita Sindhu, Rupa Goswami Pad writing, you should, not, you should not make a huge arrangement. You should not make a huge arrangement so that this arrangement can become one kind of impediments for you. That is why. And main point is that both Prabhupada, Bhakti Chakur, or Keshoko Simas, they have their power. They have their power at any condition, they are doing absolute bhajan. Thousands of people all around Popat. Come on, is, is Parikram going on? Nah? Thousands of people all around, but still Popat doing absolute one. But for bonded soul, not possible. So, what is the net outcome of the Parikrama arrangement of Popat? If, if you ask me, if you ask me, because there also matter involved. You have to arrange so many things, everything. So what is the net outcome? Popath can do solitary bhajan and leave body. Any pure devotee, you can, you can test them. Any pure devotee, they can do their bhajan solitary and leave body. They are coming in front of you to speak Harikatha, Kirtan, organize. Why? To satisfy Supreme Lord. They have no headache. They can sit in row, oh, like they can do bhajan and leave body. Very easy. Because they are not chanchal, na. Their mind is settled, already settled. So they can do bhajan and leave. But they are going to take trouble to speak Harika. This this arrangement for the benefit of common people. So if you ask me what is the outcome of the parikama arrangement done by Sela Prabhupada. Answer you can get from Bhakti Thakur. Because Bhakti Thakur, before leaving body, told to Bhimala Prasad, you must arrange Dham Parikram, which is the best mode of bhajan for bonded soul. Anyway, bonded soul cannot do bhajan. So you engage them in that. You invite them without money. Okay, no need of money. Come and do Parikram. So anyway, we can arrange Mangal for those devotees. That is the way. So the net outcome of the Brajamandar Parikrama by Prabhupada or Gaur Dham Parikram, also Prabhupada there is Gaur Mandal Parikram. Not only Gaur Dham, Gaur Dham is this. Gaur Mandal means wherever Gauranga Mahapu gone, wherever different places Gauranga Mahapu gone, within this Bengal, all up, long. Even Gauranga Mahapu went to uh, you know, at present, which is called Bhagavajar, where is Gauriya mission? In our place. There also Prabhupada gone. There also Gauranga Mahapu gone. One day, Prabhupada going through that place, and Jagadbandhu or many, Prabhupada told, if you can arrange land, you can arrange this land. Because here Gauranga Mahapu came at the bank of Ganga and he eh, was eh, doing Sankirtan here, that is the spot. Same thing in Vrindavan. Same thing in Vrindavan, Radharani, I mean the father of uh, Radharani is Vishwanu uh, Maharaj. Vishwanu Maharaj, he had one, uh, one, one nice building here. Yeah in Vrindavan. And just at that spot, our Madhav Goswami Maharaj make money. 
Popat indicated. Popat, while doing parikram, Popat told, this is the spot where previously, ha, can see everything. They are eternal parsat. That time, Hayagir Brahmachari was a you know, young boy. One day, Prabhupada going to this place, that is an important place, where the house of Vishwanu Maharaj was there. I mean, Radharani used to stay. Radharani also in Borsana also, so many, because they are big uh, king, na, they can have. So, according to the indication of Prabhupada, we know that where Gauranga Mahapu used to uh, you know, came and seated there. So, Gaur Mandal Parikama also done. It is written, Prabhupada used to go long distance, long, long. Bardhaman, Murshidama, there, there, Bengal, so many places. Prabhupada used to go, it is written. Though Prabhupada has no time, all the time he has to write, he, so much pressure. So much, so much article they are not right. One to be, one to be published in Gorya, one in Harmonies, one is weekly, one is daily news, all the time, right? You cannot arrange your time by eating and sleeping. <laughs> but the pure, they are doing engaged in seva, whole day and night. There is no gapping of time. Each and every fraction of second, they wanted to utilize for Krishna Seva, that is called the key to your bhajan. When you can become Siddha, when you can go up to the level of Siddha, you can find day and night you are engaged in Seva. Even in dream, in sleeping. Your sleeping is also Seva, you can find. But it's not a matter of joke. So anyway, we have to go. Tomorrow, yesterday I was speaking, so, Bhakti Mahatma wanted to say, try to calculate what is your net outcome of the function you already arranged. If there is no spiritual touch, no spiritual development, then it is only material. Suppose you manage big festival, there is some material man coming, sannyas is material, speaking some dry philosophy, some chana rasa, paraman, all you distribute all. Net outcome, nothing. Net outcome why you have to calculate. You are doing your bhajan, you are coming here, going there, coming from long distance. So many things you are doing. But you will have to you will have to think over and again what is your outcome. If outcome is zero, if outcome is zero, what is it? Why you come? Your purpose is to meet with some sadhu to hear Harikatha. That is you. If this purpose is not fulfilled, if this purpose is not fulfilled, then you are coming to India or here useless. Useless, no? You have to come here to take some property with you. You are coming here to collect some property, huge amount of property to carry there. To carry, no? So, yesterday I was speaking about the appearance of Radha Raman. And in this context, in this context, I was bound to go to touch the life and uh, idealism of Gopal Vata Goswami. I told that when he was only five years boy, he got the facility to take the Uchishta of Mahaprabhu. He was successful to message. Here also, another, I can speak someday, Raghunath Bhatta, who was from Varanasi, Tapan Mishra, son of Tapan Mishra. He was a very small boy. When Mahaprabhu went to Varanasi, then he was a very small boy. He used to take the Uchishta of Mahaprabhu and message the leg. Message the leg. So they are lucky. Supreme Lord Himself coming out in. <laughs> Supreme Lord, invisible. How we can find infinity world where Bhagavan is, where we can go. But still, Bhagavan is always ready to give response to us. So, Gopal Bhattu Goswami is where I told him that Gopal Bhattu Goswami, all the teachings he received 
all kind of teachings right from the beginning of his life he received from from gopal bhatu gosami na prabodananda saraswati he received so there is big fighting i told you sir i can solve today even in our sampradaya what to speak about other sampradaya our sampradayik acharya they fighting with me the speaking maharaj it cannot be so the name is you know very doubtful is prabodan is a mayavadi name and also how it is possible that uh, at all after taking sanyas how it is possible to go to home all i solve problem all they say that prabodananda and prakashananda in varanasi all same he become devotee after i say how possible how possible because after taking sanyas after taking sanyas mahaprabhu took decision to go to south india so i try to understand very simple calculation after taking sanyas mahaprabhu took decision to go to south india to so mahaprabhu went to south india and in course of his south indian trip he was eh, able to meet with the, uh, their family member i mean uh, you know uh, you know bengkot bhatto tirumalla bhatto mapu went to south india after that they meet in sirangam it is written after that mapu by their request by their request mahaprabhu was ready to stay there for four months of the seva i mean chaturmasa vrata during that chaturmasa vrata he is supreme lord at the same time he is playing the role of sanyasi how much effective one point is supreme lord he is almighty all powerful at the same time he is going to take the you know sanyas base he sanyasi so how much influence of common people can have after looking anywhere mahaprabhu going somebody looking at mahaprabhu we can mad they become very thousands of people going to follow mahaprabhu why because after looking at mahaprabhu they don't like to go back to their home so supreme lord all, all attractive so this by the influence of that by the influence of siman mahaprabhu what is not possible what is possible you don't you should not say you should not say what is possible what is not possible that's why it is quite natural though they are from ramanuj sampraday sri sampraday it is written in chaitanya charitamrita they are sadhu they are sadhu ramanuj sampraday sri sampraday but still what is impossible by the association of mahaprabhu whereas a tiger can dance whereas a elephant can dance you foolish whereas a lion can dance it is impossible that mahaprabhu can change them is it impossible they are converted throughout four months mahaprabhu wanted to discuss all secret you know siddhanta tattva they gone mad mahaprabhu is so clever in joking mood mahaprabhu not going to put pressure on somebody you will have to take no there all is humble mood like here in navadip dham when that digvijay pandit keshav kashmiri the great you know pandit he wanted to defeat everybody he is enjoying the kripa of saraswati saraswati appear and give blessing no problem nobody can defeat you it is there in chaitanya bhagavad you can go chaitanya chaitanya but how possible mahaprabhu could change his mood and everything was changed but mahaprabhu not going to insult him very humble mood very humble joking mood i like to hear i like to hear some recitation from you i heard you are great pandit 
Well, what do you like to hear? I like to hear the glorification of Ganga. Oh, Ganga, he started speaking like wind. Even wind is, you know, can make some late. Wind. But he is not making. Ah, coming from mouth. All Sanskrit. He is making words and like wind, more than wind speaking. After that, long time after, when he is going to stop, Mahapu speaking, a Pandit like you is not available in the whole world. You are the topmost, going to honor. Could you please explain one sloka from your uh, recitation? Eh? Which sloka you mean? Because I am speaking like wind. Which sloka I mean? Mahapu going to quote one sloka. Ah, how possible? I am speaking like wind. You can remember? Eh? How you remember? It's impossible. Impo next to impossible. Mahapu laughing. You see, by the mercy of Sarasati, you can speak this way. Somebody can memorize also by the mercy of somebody. Humble mood. Then after that, wanted to wanted to request that Pandit, could you please explain? Because we have uh, no such experience. We are not so educated. So you can explain the sloka. What is uh, there is some good quality and bad quality? What do you mean? No, I mean to say we are not Pandit. We have no educational quality so much. But you are so educated. So that's why I am asking you. If you are going to explain one of your slok, then we can realize. We cannot realize, na. So, which slok? Then Mahapo speaking. Mahattam Ganga Yam Satatam Idam Abhati this sloka. Then Mahapo speaking, could you please point out, could you please point out some defects of this? Huh? Defect? What do you say? There cannot be any defect. There cannot be any defect. You are a child actually. You are doing only Vyakaran, Sanskrit grammar. You are. What you can know about my, you know, what you can know? Mahaprabhu humbly, really. I am actually uh, reading and, and I, I am teaching only Vyakaran. I have no idea. But I heard some point from some, you know, Guru Bhargava. So I can discover the uh, four defects are there. Four defects? Eh? No father there in the world who can find one defect in my sloka. Mahapur, if you never mind, if you never mind, you, this is humble. If you never mind, if you allow me, I can speak. Yes, you speak, then going to speak. You write, you, you speak Bhavani Bharta. You speak Bhavani Bharta. Bhavani Bharta means? Bhavani Bharta means? Bhavani Yacha Parvati. Bhavani mean ki? Bhavani mean ki? The wife of Bhava. Bhavani mean wife of Sankar. Bhava. Bhava means Sankar. Bhagavan. The itself this meaning is clear. If I speak, if I speak that Bhavani, the any man in the society, any man, even layman, if I say Bhavani, they can understand very easily. Bhavani mean Wife of Sankar Bhagavan. So why you are going to add extra point? Bhavani Bharta. Bhavani, this word is sufficient, more than sufficient. <coughs> Bhavani means the wife of Sankar. But you are going to speak Bhavani Bharta. Bharta means Bhavani Bharta, one husband of Bhavani. And Bhavani itself means Bhavani itself means the wife of. So the, then then Pandit gone mad. A small boy, young boy, only teaching Sanskrit grammar. How possible going to feel, find so many, de four defects? Someday I can discuss. I have no time. Then Mahaprabhu going to speak. When he is totally defeated, but Mahaprabhu not going to insult. When he is totally defeated, all the students of Mahaprabhu started laughing. Hey! Don't laugh. Mahaputra, don't stop. They started laughing. Because he is Digvijayi, world famous Pandit. He is world famous for me. He wants to get certificate from everywhere. Give certificate. Give certificate that I am the only Pandit in the world. Or you uh, sit with me to discuss. 
So nobody going to. So Mahaprabhu is going to defeat him in such a way so that he cannot feel any pain. At the same time, all his false ego can break down. Mahaprabhu speaking, you can read more and more. He cannot speak more because all his power gone. Because in front of Mahaprabhu, Bhagavan Swayam, he cannot speak like previously. Then Mahaprabhu said, well, you are not today tired. You can go to home and take rest. Tomorrow we can also, because your Pandit is very good. Anyway, uh, there can be some defects, no problem. When the Pandit gone to room, Bhajan Kutir, and he is sitting for Japa of Saraswati, why you defeat me in front of that young, young chap? Why you are going to defeat me in front of the whereas you promised me? Then after doing japa of Saraswati mantra, he is going to feel he is going to sleep. And in dream Saraswati came. What do you mean? You are lucky. So I cannot open my mouth in front of my husband. He is a supreme lord of infinity world. Supreme Lord. You are very lucky. He is not ordinary Brahman. He is Supreme Lord coming in the form of Gauranga. You go morning time and catch the lake. Catch the lake, what you have done wrong. Then the Brahmin early in the morning is going to take bath and run to the house of Mahaprabhu and falling down on lotus, lotus feet of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu catch him. What happens? Why early? Why so early in the morning? Well, uh, uh, this has happened. Why so early in the morning? Eh? Then he is speaking, actually this has happened. Then Mahaprabhu is smiling and speaking, any man going to get some education, that education, if not going to grow our consciousness up to, up to the level of Krishna, then education is useless. Any amount of education when we are going to get, if that education is not going to help me to touch the lotus feet of Krishna, that education is useless. Whatever education. So, uh, so you should not express any vanity, false ego. Then he surrendered unto the lotus feet of Mahaprabhu and later on life, he became the Acharya of Nimbarka Sampadaya. Big Acharya. Kesav Kasmiri. He became the great Acharya by the mercy of so this was the mood. So this way, Kopal Bhatta Goswami was a very small boy. Tirumalla Bhatta, Bankart Bhatta, they are totally influenced. To are, they, are, they, are, they are totally influenced by Mahaprabhu. What to speak? Mahaprabhu day and night discussing about Krishna Tattha, what is Tattha, sometimes joking, sometimes joking how Lakshmi Devi not going to participate, cannot get any scope, to participate in a Rasa Leela. Oh, you are joking actually. Radharani and Lokshi, same thing. Well, I know same. I know same. Oh, same. But still, why Lokshi not getting entry in Rasa Leela? This is in joking mood. Very playing mood. Mahaprabhu wanted to establish all Siddhanta. Finally, they change all their heart. They are very much interested to do bhajan of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. So how impossible? Pavadana Saraswati Bhat, I can, today also time cannot problem me. I will have to solve this problem. Then Mahaprabhu first went to South India. And in South Indian trip, it took, uh, I saw, it is uh, two years minimum, two or three years, totally, totally. After that came back. After a long time, Mahaprabhu took decision to go to Vrindavan. Follow? What do you mean? Say, so in course of his Vrindavan trip, he was bound to go to Varanasi. And whereas that Vedanta Guru, that Vedanta Guru, uh, that Pukasananda, he was white leprosy in his body. Mahaprabhu already told. In his Gaur Leela. In his Gaur Leela, Mahaprabhu already told. And ah, useless. He is there in Varanasi, going to explain Mayabad. He is going to break all my hand and leg. I develop leprosy on his body, still he cannot realize he is doing wrong. 
Bhagavan is transcendent law. Bhagavan is not formless. Both possible. Bhagavan in the form formless and form eternally present. So I can discuss this point tomorrow. So today time cannot for me. So this problem I can solve after that. How Gopal Goswami took shelter of no, Prabhupada Saraswati. After that he started doing bhajan, how all I can come, how Radharaman was discovered, excuse me. Atha pite padam bhujat dayo prasad alesha onagrihit evahi janat itatyam bhagavan mahimnu nacha eka opi chiran vichinman. Banchakalpaturusikipasindabhai. Patitanang bhavanam bhavishnapyunam.